As we are all probably well aware, the fine folks over at Line 6 just dropped their Podgo firmware 2.0 very recently. And one of the amazing new features in that is the new cab section. This is a feature that Helix and HX Stomp users have had for quite some time, and it gives the ability to not only choose new cabs, but also to move the microphones around. In space, let's say, we can move it on or off axis, and we can pull them back and forward, which was different than what we had before, which was just a distance control. Now we can actually move it around and really open up the flexibility for new tone. Let's dive in and take a quick look today at exactly how we can use this. We're not going to go through all the cabs. We're just going to look at the new interface and a few of the tricks we can use to dialing in our tones so that they're exactly how we want them. So here we are over in Podgo Edit, and what I've done is just set up a really basic little preset here of uh, utilizing the really new and incredible dynamic ambience reverb just to give us a little bit of a roominess to the sound, a little more depth to it. I've chosen my Brit Trim Norm amp, haven't touched any of the settings, and when we come over to our cab, we see something quite new now. Let's go to our cab selection here. Now, we still have the ability to put an IR, third-party impulse response, in any of our presets. They haven't taken that away. We have the legacy cab section. So this is important. Anybody who does have existing presets, you can basically just keep using them. It's just gonna switch over to be a legacy cab and nothing's going to change. If we choose one of those, we see the very familiar interface here, mic choice. We have a whole bunch of mics we can choose from. We can move the distance of that mic from the speaker uh, from either one inch all the way to 12 inches. We have a low and a high cut and early reflection. So if we get back out of there and we go to the new cab section, we have these all new cabs available a really nice selection of really killer sounding cabs. We can go, let's say, uh, since I'm using this Marshall style amp, let's go to the 412 Greenback 25. When we come out of that, we see a very different interface here. So again, a lot of very similar things here. We have our mic choice. We can choose from a nice selection of mics, a lot of similar ones to what we had before with the old mic choice. Let's just go with the 57 dynamic. We can now, and this is where it's really interesting and makes it really flexible to dial in tones. So we have the ability to move this all the way around, all the way from the center, right up here. You can see in the graphic updates as I move this, I can slide this to any point in between. And then they give us sort of little landmarks, shall we call it, along the way. We have cap edge, so where the microphone is pointing to the very edge of the cap of the speaker. We can keep going all the way until we get to edge. Now, this is going to change the tone dramatically. If I was to take a 57 dynamic mic or Shure SM57, put it right in the middle of the speaker cap, it's going to sound very harsh. <laughs> Not a tone I enjoy, but now if we were taking this position control and go all the way to the other extreme. May not be what we're looking for, but we can hear how dramatic a sound difference is. It takes a lot of that harshness away from the 57. Now that might be far too extreme. Let's try one of those other kind of landmark positions, the cap edge. Even just going from the center. Really cool stuff. We could move that anywhere in there. Now we could also utilize that in conjunction with our distance control. And very quickly, I was able to shape that tone much different to what we started with. Now, I'm a big fan of the ribbon mics, as anybody who watches my channel knows. Go to, say, a 160 ribbon. You could do the same sort of things. Nice warm tone. So 
So lots of possibilities. Now, the other thing we can do here is we can actually angle the mic as well. So you can see how that also shifts the frequencies we're hearing, gives us another tool to shape the sound. And just like normal before, we had our low and our high cuts. You know, if we were using something like the SM57. And dial out some of that harshness utilizing the high cut and some of that bottom end tubbiness that maybe gets in the way of kick drums and bass guitars by using the low cut and then we have a level control as well so we have that for all of these brand new cabs what a beautiful addition to pod go really opens the doors to a lot more flexibility and dialing in our tones all right so there you have it i hope that you enjoyed that little bit more in-depth look to exactly what's going on with these new cabs and i hope that helps and inspires you to go check them out and don't be afraid to slide things around you can always move them back to where they were before you started messing with them but you might be able to discover some really cool tones and this really opens the door for a lot more possibilities with our pod go today i'm going to leave you with the demo video from my moon pod go bundle it's available at the line six marketplace this is a killer set of amps we have the normal the bright and the jump channels really really killer tones in there and i'm super happy with the way it turned out and i hope you enjoy the demo video so please like the video share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment of watching it also please subscribe to the channel hit the little bell notification to get notified when i put new content out i'll be back really soon with some more thank you guys again so much for sharing your time with me ciao for now